de Noël is a traditional dessert served during the Christmas holidays in France and several other Christian populated francophone countries. As the name indicates, the cake is typically prepared, presented and garnished so as it looks like a log ready for the fire. Hmm. This traditional dessert is easy to make and is as good as a cake from the best pastry shop or even better. To make the bûche de Noël, you will need For the baking sheet, we will use butter and flour For the Genoise, we will use flour, cornstarch, eggs, sugar and butter For the cream, chestnut cream, you have to buy it in can uh, This is a French brand um, Otherwise you will have to make your own, but it's much better to use a can Butter, rum then for the syrup, sugar, water and rum, make sure you use the same alcohol uh, between the cream and the syrup. You may use cognac or other alcohol, but make sure you use the same one. Then a little bit of chocolate for the coating and to garnish, I have edible gold, some silver balls and a little bit of mint and marron glacé. The marron glacé are candied chestnuts. You may purchase those at any gourmet store that carries Italian or French produce. Start by preheating your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius and melt the butter to grease the parchment paper that we're going to use over the baking sheet. First step is to make our rolled Genoise. So preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius and melt the butter to prepare the pan. Brush the parchment paper with the melted butter So brush well Make sure you don't leave any pool of butter anywhere So make sure it's even And the parchment paper that I cut, I cut it just a little bit uh, wider slightly to go on the edge a little bit. Reserve the pan and let's make the Genoise. Then separate the eggs. So pass the yolk from one shell to the other. Melt the butter for the Genoise. The butter is melted, then add the sugar into the yolks and whisk. So we call them to blanch because the egg yolk mixture will become pale yellow and they will become fluffy too. Good. Then add the flour, so half of the flour, and sift it, and pass it through a sieve, and add the remaining flour. Then add half of the butter, mix, add the remaining butter, and add the cornstarch. So I like to pass it through the sieve to make it lighter. And the remaining cornstarch. Add a pinch of salt in your egg whites, 
very tiny. And whisk the egg yolk until soft peaks. So start on low speed in order to break them up and to have them slightly foamy and then we will increase the speed and whisk them hard. Then add about a third of the egg whites into the yolk mixture and fold it. So at the beginning it's going to be a little bit hard because it's pretty thick. So gently fold in. Then add a little bit more. When you fold it, you place the spatula under the mixture and wrap it up over. So bring it over. So you fold it in, fold it in. So make sure you're going on the bottom of the bowl to grab every egg yolk mixture, flour, you know, you don't have any left element there that have been incorporated with the egg whites. Then transfer the Genoise batter over the tray and then with a spatula spread evenly the batter all over Meanwhile, damp a towel because as soon as the biscuit will be cooked, we must roll it immediately. Otherwise, it will break and it will be over. So that will be the secret to make the perfect rolled Genoise. So, remove the excess of moisture. And Genoise is ready. Place it. Place the rag over. It's hot. Then the second tray over. Flip. Be careful, the cookie sheet will be hot. And then, using the towel, fold crosswise about an inch and roll. Great. Then transfer the rolled Genoise on the cooling rack and let it cool down for about 30 minutes within the rack. Then, meanwhile, we are going to prepare the chestnut cream. To make the chestnut cream, it's easy. Combine the butter, the chestnut cream, and the alcohol together in a bowl. So, all the butter. It's easier if your butter is already at room temperature or soft. Then, the chestnut cream. Add the rum. and whisk everything together. Good. If you 
you have the chance to have marron glacé available, you may break a few into the cream. So just break them into pieces. So three marron glacé should be enough. Mix well. Then now make the syrup. In the saucepan, place the sugar along with the water and the same alcohol as the cream. So for us today it's rum. Then take the saucepan to the stove and bring it to a simmer for five minutes. Give it a stir to make sure the sugar dissolves. The syrup has simmered for five minutes. Then place some plastic wrap on your table and unroll it. Then remove the rolled genoise from the rag, so slowly. Good. And unroll the genoise. Sticky, so be, take your time. Great. Then soak the genoise with the syrup using a brush. Add a layer of chestnut cream, but use only about two thirds of the cream. Then with a spatula, spread it evenly. Then using the plastic, roll the genoise again. So fold, okay, so roll, there we go, so you see it's pushing a little bit some of the cream, so we're going to pick it up. Now we are going to decorate the cake. So transfer the roll genoise over a platter, but I cut two pieces of cardboard that I have wrapped in aluminum foil. I made sure that the cardboard was smaller than the bush, okay? Because later on, we're going to cut the end here. So, and it will be easier to uh, move around or to change to another platter later on. Make the icing, but keep the bush refrigerated. Melt the chocolate in the microwave for about 15 seconds to 20 seconds. The chocolate is melted, so transfer the hot chocolate into the remaining chestnut cream. Mix well to combine. So you may use a dark chocolate or a semi-sweet chocolate, but please use a good cacao, but please use a good quality chocolate. Now let's add the icing over the bush. Then add the cream and spread it evenly, making sure not to put any on the each end. Make sure you cover as much as you can. Good. So using a fork, draw some stripes. 
decorate your bush the way you want, you know, depending on what is available. But one suggestion I will have is to try to make some knots because in logs or in wood, there is some knots. But first of all, place the bush for five to 10 minutes in the fridge. The cream has to be a little bit colder, not cold, but not too soft. With a fork, just twist and those few knots. Then add a few marron glacé to decorate. So press down slightly into the cream. That way, when the cream will cool down or become firm, they won't fall. Then garnish with silver candy pearls. This is 24 carats edible gold and you will find it also in specialty stores. Good. Then refrigerate the bush for a minimum of two hours before trimming the end off and then we will leave it for another 10 hours. Now that the cream is hardened, then trim the ends off. It could be a little bit tricky, but just do it. Let's see. So hold underneath there we go because you want to see the roll and the different layers of the cookie I'm going to get that away good nice and clean. Then transfer the bush to your platter. Cool. Not bad. Maybe leave it here. Great. Decorate with a fresh mint sprig and reserve refrigerated until you serve it. Bush de Noël, bon appétit